Hey friends, welcome to a four-part series on my home birth checklist. Stick around for all the episodes. Okay friends, let's talk about postpartum supplies. We have these extremely absorbent disposable underwear. These are actually really great for catching a lot of blood loss. Um, If you've never given birth to a baby, it is way heavier than the heaviest period you have ever had. There are postpartum pads specifically for the quantity of blood that you will lose after giving birth to a baby. Um, Then there's overnight pads, and then a little bit less than that is the super pads. And these herbal infused pads with wings, I highly recommend. Mesh disposable underwear is extremely forgiving. This herbal bath is a game changer for healing down there. Nursing balm is a good idea to have on hand even if you only need it for the first couple of days. And this is a really sweet one with a little bit of fresh calendula right there on the top. This is from a friend of mine's shop. And I really have liked these upside down perennial spray bottles. My wool breast pads, I plan on getting more of because these are just absolutely wonderful. They absorb so much. And I also like to have a variety of nursing friendly loungewear. These t-shirt dresses, tank top dresses are great because they pull down, they're super stretchy. A bathrobe and just your, you know, period underwear, that's fine. Or a button down shirt and nursing bra situation, cute little nighty set. I also will find myself just living oftentimes in a nursing tank top and some maternity leggings. And here are an example of two different style of nursing bras. There's the clip down style um, that has, you know, the clips in the back kind of situation, or there's just like a lounging sleep nursing bra, which just pulls down to the side and is just, you know, sports bra like. And don't forget about your feet, whether it's some wool slippers or some nice big wool lounge socks. Okay, and then I like to have a bed tray for ease of eating in bed. And this nursing pillow is wonderful. It also doubles as a maternity pillow. Hot water bottle is a necessity. If you've not seen cloth pads before, this is my setup for my typical cycle when I'm not pregnant. Um, But I do actually use a variety of my um, reusable pads even while I'm pregnant. Um, So here's a little look at these. These are about four years old. Now let's set up our postpartum station. So we're going to get a little bit of all of the extremely absorbent pads into this. I like to put like a whole pack of each We'll put one of these peri pad ice packs in. The upside down peri bottle is going to be great for even if you just fill it with warm water from the sink, that's great. But also, if you have any of that after bath brewed up in advance, that makes a wonderful spray, also. Um, and then you also want to have some undies, whether it's the mesh kind that can just be thrown out afterwards or um, maternity ones are also nice and big and forgiving too with your soft belly tender area and that should have you covered in the bathroom department